everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with a stock swoosh and I'm reviewing here the tracking for 2019, the options newsletter. Okay, this is through Friday, which was the last day of May. Um, this is an advanced risk. And we're gonna go through the trades and the charts. 86% uh, win ratio, year to date, 2019. 560,630. Now, this is an advanced risk. So the risk at the beginning of the year was around four to five, and obviously it's been a very good year, so it's been increasing. It's about 6,000 now per trade, just so you know. And so the one thing I always tell people, listen, if you're doing really well, you can increase your risk. And then you can be a little bit more uh, gentle with yourself when profit taking. In other words, say if you took 10 contracts, um, you could get out of five, hold five for a bigger move. You know, that's an idea for people when they are trading, when they start to take more size on. You could get out in the first move, hold a little bit for the secondary move. So anyways, it's really all about success and making money if you want to trade. I know trading's fun. I know everybody loves to trade and it's fun and sometimes it feels like a computer game, but it's, it's not fun when you're losing. <laughs> it's fun when you're winning. So you have to have a winner's mindset when you're doing this. You absolutely, absolutely, absolutely have to have the right mindset. So there's been 81 winners, only 13 losers for the first five months of the year, one break even and a total of 95 trade calls. Win ratio 86%, which is outstanding. And if someone had asked me about a stop loss, I tell people take the trades and only risk what you can afford to risk in the trade, don't kill it. You gotta give the trades a chance to work. The way that I call trades, which I'm gonna go over here, I mean, it's it's really they work or they don't. And you have to also know why you are doing this. What is your number one goal? You're doing this because you wanna do it for a career, you're doing this for extra money, you wanna go on a vacation, buy a car, you know, or is this something that you really wanna do as, as your full-time thing? So if you're a beginner and you have no experience trading, you can do this. I have people now that have joined this letter and I have people that have signed up for the class next weekend that have never traded in their life. They are seeing success already by taking the trades and they're getting out when they're up. Simple as that. They don't overthink it. They don't overanalyze it. They don't have a negative attitude about the market or anything. Uh, and I think a fresh, fresh outlook is what many people need uh, to, be, to do well. And a lot of people that have been trading for a long time have a horrible outlook. And that's, that's unfortunate. Uh, I get this question a lot too. Do you need margin to do options? No. No, you don't. So that's the benefit also of doing options versus the equity trades. The weather, if, even if you do something and say it's Amazon, a very expensive stock to, to day trade, uh, with an option, you just pay the cost. You pay the cost of it. If it's cost a dollar, then you pay one dollar. So the cost of the options varies in these trades. And ultimately, it's about managing your expectations versus your goals. If you're doing this, you want to make money. That's key. It's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely key, okay? So using a high win ratio system is important if you wanna do this particularly for a career, but I even think if you wanna do it on the side, it's more important to use a high win ratio system than anything else, why? Emotionally helps you stay positive, okay? By being consistently green. Financially, obviously, so you don't have big drawdowns in your account and your account grows over time, which also helps you emotionally helps the confidence, helps the conviction, and proof of consistency in the system, which a lot of people, when they're doing it, they say, well, does it work under this market condition, this market condition? You know, right now the market's in an uptrend. That could change. The market could go in a downtrend. You want a consistent system that works under any market conditions, okay? Now, this was a really, really nice trade called Disney, and I'm pointing this one out because it was a big one. And a lot of people want to hold stuff, hold stuff. In this market that's volatile, you can hold some of a position or some positions for a day or two. But I don't think holding for a long time right now is, is key. Now, every once in a while, though, I will say, you will get a big one. And when you get a big one, you just get it. It happens out of nowhere. And that's why I'm pointing this out. People sometimes try to force a big one. You can't force a big one. If you get a big one, it just gives it to you. And Disney was one of those ones. And so that's why I want to talk about it called this trade, called the 120 calls, and it gapped up, flew, flew over the price, literally almost after I called it and within a few days. And that was a news gap, not earnings. Um, and it was really, really, really good. And uh, two traders that are on this options letter made over 40, 
thousand dollars on forty contracts, and so it was a really nice trade. Um, everybody that was in this and didn't get out and didn't kill it before it went ended up having a huge day that day. So here was the 120 calls, and I called it on the ninth to expire 426, and I'm gonna go back here to the chart, you can see where it went. I mean, this just, and, this, and that flew up even after that. But again, you would have really exited it here the day of this, because it was more than $10 through the strike, okay? So I can call something out for two weeks, but it doesn't mean you hold it. Anyways, let's go back to the beginning of the year. Lulu was positive. Netflix was a good one. QQQ is a lot of market calls this year. NVIDIA was a loser. CAT was a loser. IBM, nice, solid winner. And again, all of these trades are based on my golden gap rating method. I rate the gap. If the gap rates more than 20 points, then I call it. It's a 26-point rating system. 20 is a cutoff. Under 20, you don't do it. There's nothing to do. QQQ was another winner, 11,250. Starbucks was a winner. Spy, big winner. A lot of market trades this year. And I mean, it's just been, I've been on point with reading the market this year. Another winner in the SPY, another winner in the SPY. NTAP was a loser. Cisco was a winner. Walmart was a winner. HD was a winner. SPY, another winner. Q is another winner. Target was a loser. Cost was a winner. QQQs was a winner. Another winner in the SPY. Google's a nice one to do options because of the cost of the stock versus the day trading. Alta, big winner earlier this year. Netflix winner. Stitch Fix, lost. That just didn't work at all. Spy one, FDX, another loser on there that just didn't work at all in any of the time frames uh, correctly for the follow through, whether you did it the day or the next day. Apple was a winner. Spy was a winner. Lulu was the break even. Spy was a winner. QQQs was a winner. Google was a winner. Spy was a winner. Amazon, little winner. Qs was a winner. Spy, loser. BA was a winner. Disney, another big winner called a bunch of trades in Disney. Spy was a winner. QQQs was a winner. Google was a winner. Again, Google and Amazon are really nice to, to do options because of the cost. Another, another great trade in Disney. I have lost count of how many Disney ones. Uh, QQQs was a winner, Apple winner, Twitter winner, Spy winner, and another Disney. Big, big, big. Disney is really the golden gap of the year so far this year for the bullish side. I just, uh, you know, I'm, I've done a couple of videos on that. Every trade in that has worked. Amazon was a winner, Apple. QQQs was a winner. Spy was a winner. Microsoft was a loser. Qs was a winner. Spy was a winner. BA was a winner. Apple was a winner. Microsoft there was a winner that day. Diamonds was a winner. Spy winner. Netflix loser. Lyft was a good one. Spy was a winner. Qs was a winner. Apple was a winner. BA was a winner. Diamonds was a winner. Baidu was another beautiful gap. That, that was a good gap down. Um, puts in the Baidu. The Diamonds was a winner, Spy winner, Amazon winner, Apple winner, Low winner. That was well, that was one that went past the first day too. Actually, I looked at that just today and I said, geez, Louise, that really fell off a planet. Even after that day, QQQs was a winner, Netflix loser, Qs winner, Spy winner, another big Baidu, Google was a loser, Apple winner, Diamonds loser, Apple was a winner, Spy winner, Diamonds winner, Qs winner. Diamonds winner, spy winner. I mean, I'm just calling boom, boom, boom with the good ones in the market. I mean, I'm calling the market at the exact right time where the, where the market is actually gapping into the, after the time that I call them. It's just, I am just seeing where this next market is going to go. Anyway, spy was a winner, BA winner, Q's winner, Google winner, Netflix winner, Amazon winner, Google winner, Alta was a loser, and Cost was a winner, the fast one. And even that, that, that Alta might end up continuing this week if, if anybody's still in it. Um, anyways, that was one where I just felt if it had to go right away, it would have gone that day. Uh, it's rare that I would call a trade really tight on the day, um, but it happens every once in a while. I do think it's better if you give things more time, but I'm probably not going to call anymore uh, in, in the Alta. Uh, because that the way that that acted on Friday, but cost even that, um, which is a very strong stock now, maybe lower into the month of June. So it's one of these periods where things are very, very volatile. And if you don't know how to read the specific stock you're trading, if you don't have a specific set strategy, if you don't know how to read the market, you're getting eaten up. If you do know how to read it, which I do, you are making bank. And that is one of the reasons why these results are so amazing. I have been extremely focused. I mean, to the point where I'm like, like getting ready to go to bed like right now so that I can get a good sleep every night, get up early, rate everything, 
I'm rating them at six, I'm rating them at seven, I'm rating them at eight, I'm rating the gaps at nine. I mean, I am like double, triple checking myself on everything I'm doing in the pre-market to make sure that I'm seeing everything the same from 6 a.m. to 9, 9 a.m. even, you know? Anyways, I'll talk about that more in a, in a, in a webinar, uh, hopefully soon, or some more videos. But long story short, uh, the winners, 81 winners, 13 losers, this is year to date, one break even and 95 trades, show 86% win ratio 2019. So the benefits of trading options versus equity trades is what? No margin requirements, no day trading margin requirements, okay? The only cost is the price you pay for the trade. Like I said, whether it costs a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Say if you paid three dollars for something and did one contract, it would be what? It would cost you 300 bucks, all right? You can make active money trading just like equity trades, which is nice. And there is no requirements for me. You don't have to do the class. There's no prerequisites. Although I think doing the class is important, I think you will trade better if you do the class. You will be able to see things clear when I call these gap trades if you do the class, okay? But you do not have to do the class as a prerequisite for me to sign up for this newsletter. And you can make a very good return on investment for your risk. You're usually looking for one, one over, okay? So people come to me and they want all kinds of different ideas of how to manage themselves. I'd say look for 50% to 100%. But it doesn't mean you have to kill it at 50%. You want to give the trade a chance to work. Some trades end up being 203%, 300% return on investment. Uh, like, like the Disney's, like the Lowe's, like the Baidu's, where you got to give things a chance to work in, in the favor that they want to. The momentum, the volatility is in the market so far this year. I'm calling great trades. You want to take advantage of it. Don't kill things too early. But then again, you gotta make sure you book money, okay? So you're watching the gap, you're watching the time of the day, you're watching the market, all of these things in combination. And again, you'll, you'll learn this in the class if you do the class with me, the Golden Gap course. So what works for you and what doesn't, you have to decide. You have to decide if you wanna do the equity trades, if you wanna do the options trades, if you wanna do this part-time or full-time, it's up to you. I definitely think that the options letter has helped a lot of people uh, make money from this letter than to pay for the Golden Gap course. So that's positive. However, this letter is only an annual subscription service and you have to keep that in mind. So you have to be able to afford to pay for this letter for the entire year. You get a year's worth of trades. And always, everyone always asks me, well, how many trades do you get? I'm showing you how many we had so far this year. I've called a lot this year. But it's never an, a set amount because I don't know. I don't know what good trades we're going to you know, get. It's like saying, well, where's the market going to be? You know, X, Y, Z. I have to see it when I see it in the gap. And if I see a good gap, then I call the trade. So I don't know how many from week to week. But on an average, this, this review helps you see how many, if you had been on the letter from January through now, you would have gotten this year, okay? But it's more than enough is the point I'm trying to make. More than enough trades for you to, to do it and get a feel for the gaps. So if you want to sign up, it's $49.99 a year. No prerequisites, like I said. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to register and sign up. If you sign up and pay, your letter subscription starts immediately, okay? Get on this letter if you want to start seeing what I'm doing, getting a feel for it, and then you can save up the money from the letter for the class. It is, it is I, I just had great calls this year. And really, honestly, it's the gap rating system. It's the 26 points. That's how I'm reading the gaps. But it's really the way I've read the market. I've read the market very accurately, and it's because of my gap rating method that I've read the market accurately. You understand what I'm saying? So that's one of the reasons why this letter has been amazing. So congratulations, everyone that has been on the letter. It's been a great year. Everyone's doing well. If you have any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com.